Previously, we were discussing <coughs> Frobenius uh, series matter. Frobenius series matter for solving ODEs, particularly second order ODEs, uh, with variable coefficients around the singular points. We also discussed what are the singular points. Singular points. And then regular singular points. And irregular singular points. <laughs> So this method, uh, in fact, uh, help us to find solution of a differential equation around the singular points. Particularly, uh, we can use this method <coughs> to solve the differential equation around the regular singular points only. We cannot use this method to find a solution around the irregular singular points. In this case, if uh, a given differential, uh, if a differential equation is given, and uh, we we need to find the solution around the regular singular point, then we assume that the series is of the form x minus x not whole raised power r summation n from zero to infinity c n x minus x not whole raised power n, where this factor now is additionally multiplied with the uh, power series in order to handle the singular points, regular singular points, in fact. Now let us do an example of this, uh, this method. For example, uh, we need to solve this differential equation. <coughs> solve the following differential equation, this one, uh, 3x y double dash plus y dash minus y is equal to zero. Around the point uh, about, about x equal to zero or x not equal to zero. Now we need to first investigate whether the given point is singular or ordinary point. As we see that here we have x, and we know that a2 of x is what? It is 3x. Now, if we put a2 of x is equal to 0, it gives us x equal to 0. Because 3x, if we put this uh, thing equal to 0, it gives us x equal to 0. Now, this is your x naught is equal to 0. So x naught is a singular point, is singular point. Because by the definition of singular point, if we put this coefficient a2 of x equal to zero, then for all x which satisfy this equation for which a2 of x is zero, those are basically singular points. Now we need to investigate whether the given point is regular singular point or irregular singular point. So for regular, <coughs> in order to check this, uh, what we do, we assume that small p of x is what it is, x minus x naught power one, capital P of x. And we assume also Q of x is equal to what? It is x minus x naught whole raised power two, capital Q of x. Where small p of x is what? We have to convert this differential equation first into standard form. Standard form is key kya hogi? Its standard form is y double dash. We divide both sides by three x, the coefficient of y double dash. Uh, so we obtain plus one by three x y dash, and then minus one by three x y equal to zero. Now the coefficient of y dash is what? It is cap capital P of x, and the coefficient of y is our capital Q of x. Now we put the value of capital P of x here and Q of x here. And then we check whether these two functions, p of x and q of x are continuous and differentiable uh, or not, 
or they are analytic or not. So small p of x is basically what? It is x because x naught is zero. X minus zero over capital P of x is into one by three x. So it becomes one by three because x, x cancel and Q of x, sorry, small Q of x is, Q of x is what? It is x minus zero whole square and capital Q of x is one over three x and it becomes x by three. Now you can see that P of x is a constant function, which is obviously continuous everywhere. Q of x is also uh, this polynomial kind of function, x power one into some coefficient. These two functions are analytic. They are because they are continuous and differentiable. So these both, both Q of x and P of x, sorry, both P of x and Q of x, they are analytic functions. What does it mean? Therefore, x not equal to zero is a regular singular point. If a singular point is regular singular point, then we can apply uh, Frobenius method. So you can say that thus Frobenius method is applicable method is applicable. And we can find the solution around this regular singular point. So then we, what we do, we assume that the solution is of this form, y of x is equal to x minus zero, whole power r, summation n from zero to infinity, c n x minus zero power n, so it is x n. So in fact, what we can write here, uh, in order to take the derivative, we have to combine it, c n x power n plus r. So this term is basically, it doesn't involve n, where the summation is on n. So we can take this term inside the series or outside the series. It doesn't affect the summation term because it doesn't involve n. And the summation index is n. So we can take this inside and we can add it here because x power r, x power n, so we can write x power n plus r. Now, what we do, we need to take its derivative and its derivative uh, becomes summation n from zero to infinity. Uh, we have n plus r. It comes down here, cn x power n plus r minus one. Previously, when uh, we took the derivative of the simple series, the summation, it starts from basically one to infinity. But here, it doesn't start from one, why? Can anybody tell me? We have a constant, phi. No, we don't have any constant. Constant to pehle bhi tha. Any other? Again, previously, our pass series kya thi? Series was n from zero to infinity, c n x power n. Okay, this was your series n. If we open this series, what we obtain it is c naught x power zero. X power zero is one plus c one x power one plus c two x power two plus c3 x power three plus so on. Okay. The first term, the first term in this series is constant. So when we take the derivative here, this constant term becomes zero plus 
c into x, x derivative of x is one. So we get c1 plus two c two x plus one. So first term was zero in, in the derivative of uh, uh, this series. So the summation starts now from one. Now the summation starts from n from one to infinity n cn x power n minus one. But in this case, in the case of Frobenius series, what is our series? It is now what summation n from zero to infinity cn x power n plus r. If we open the series, what do we obtain? C zero x power zero plus r. Now we have r here, x power r plus c1 x power 1 plus r plus c2 x power 2 plus r plus so on. Now, whenever we take the derivative of this series, which is the Frobenius series, this term doesn't become zero. Okay, so it gives us r, you can say zero plus r, c naught x power zero plus r minus one means r minus one. So this term doesn't become zero. So that's why the, the summation index starts again from zero. So you can take the derivative of these terms as well. Uh, it's derivative, this comes down here, uh, one plus r c one x power, one plus r minus one and so on. So it's derivative in fact becomes summation n from zero to infinity uh, n plus r comes down, this one, no, this one, n plus r comes down, cn x power n plus r minus one. So this is the derivative of this Frobenius, Frobenius power series. The summation still starts from zero in this case. Now let's come back to our problem, this one. Its first derivative is this, its second derivative, obviously, uh, it is again summation n from zero to infinity. And this again comes down here, n plus r into n plus r minus one, cn x power n plus r minus two now. Okay, it's second derivative. Now what we do, uh, we insert y, y dash, y double dash into the given differential equation which is given here, this one, y double dash, y dash, and then y. And the rest is uh, the same as we did in the power series method. What we do, we collect all the terms. Uh, let me put it here. So what we do now, we put the expressions here. So it, it is now become three, three X in the bracket, y double dash, it, it is what summation n from zero to infinity, uh, n plus r into n plus r minus one cn x power n plus r minus two. This is the first term y double dash plus y dash is what n from zero to infinity n plus r cn x power n plus r minus one. And the last term is again, the series n from zero to infinity cn x power n plus r is equal to zero. Now you can notice here that this x and three, it can goes inside because it doesn't have any uh, n with x. So we can take it inside the summation or outside the summation. So we can multiply x here. x power one will be added here. So it becomes n plus r minus one. Here we have cn x power n plus r minus one. And here we have x power n plus r. In the next step, let me go over the other board. Okay. 
this one. Okay. Now we can further write that thing x power r. We can take that common because x power r comes uh, in each term of this series. You can see here. Here, yes. Here x power r, x power r, x power r. I took it inside just to manage the derivatives and then I got, uh, now again, I'm going to take this x power r outside from each series so that it, uh, it will be simplified. The series, all the series will be simplified and we, we can work out uh, in a similar manner as we did in the power series method in order to find the recurrence relations and then we can find the coefficients of the Frobenius series. So I'm gonna take this x power r from each series outside, okay? Now you can see here, x power r, I took it common and the three x, I'm gonna take it inside. So it becomes summation n from zero to infinity, three n plus r, n plus r minus one, cn x power n minus n plus r, r bahir, and n minus two tha, n minus one ho jayega yaha pe, theek hai? And uh, the second series is what? It is plus summation n from zero to infinity, n plus r, n plus r, cn x power n minus one, plus the third series is n from zero to infinity and uh, c n x power n. So this is equal to zero. So we obtain this with the multiplication of x power r. Now x power r cannot be zero. X power r is not zero. Why? X power r cannot be zero because we have the product of two things is equal to zero. One factor is x power r and the other factor is whole this thing, summation of three series. In this product, x power r cannot be zero. If x power r is zero, then the initial series, which we have assumed here, the initial series, which we have assumed here, it will become zero and it gives us a trivial solution. And we are not interested in trivial solutions. So we assume that X power R, this factor is never zero. Okay. I hope you get it. If you have any question, you can ask me. So that's why we assume here that X power R is not equal to zero. What does it mean? This whole summation factor is it, it must be zero because the product of two factors uh, is equal to zero. And we are assuming that the one factor is not zero, then the other factor must be zero. So in the next step, what we write, we write this whole summation term. Okay. Now, what we used to do in the power series method now, uh, we do the same. What we do, we try to make the exponents of x equal so that we can take them outside uh, common from all the series. x power n minus one, we have x power n minus one, we have x power n. Okay. Now, what we check here that uh, if we have summation n from zero to infinity, and when we put n is equal to zero, this term involves what? This term starts from x power minus one. Yahan pe, agar aap put kare n zero, this term again have what? It starts from x power minus one. And when we put n is equal to zero here, this term starts from x power zero. So all the series in this expression must start from the same exponent of x. Means same power of x. For that, what we do, 
we open up the first terms of these two series so that the series starts from x power zero in all series. So what we do now here, we open up the first term here for n is equal to zero. When, put, when we put n is equal to zero here, what we obtain three r and then uh, r minus one c zero x power minus one plus now the summation n from one to infinity three n plus r uh, n plus r minus one c n x power n minus one now you can see ha here that this series starts when we put n is equal to one it starts from n is equal to uh, x power zero now the second series we also open up the first term here plus uh, we put n is equal to zero here what we get here r c zero x power minus one plus summation n from one to infinity uh, and then n plus r c n x power n minus one plus this series is okay we don't open the first term of this series because it already starts from x power zero now this also starts from x power zero this also starts from x power zero when we put n equal to one now we collect all these terms which we have opened here and what do we get here we obtain three r r minus one uh, c naught common ajega x power minus one b common ajega in dono me se and what we get here plus r this c naught x power minus one the plus summation n from one to infinity uh, three n plus r n plus r minus one c n x power n minus one plus uh, the second this one summation n from one to infinity uh, n plus r c n x power n minus one plus the third series n from zero to infinity c n x power n okay this equal to zero now here we have x power minus one c naught into this now what we do now there is a question in the chat window Sir, third series se pehle minus sign nahi aega. Yes, you are right. Third series, because negative hai yahan pe, to minus aega. Minus everyone. Thank you very much. So it is negative. Because in the equation, we have minus y. Now, what we do if about these three series, we do the same thing we do uh, did basically uh, in the method of power series. Now we try to make these exponents identical in all these three series. Here we have exponent n minus one, here we have n minus one, and here we have n. What we used to do in the power series method, we, we make some substitutions. We put here n minus one is equal to some other variable we try to change the index here. N minus one, we put here N minus one is equal to some K. And then uh, let, let me call this series as S1 series and this series as S2 series. Now I'm going to make the exponents of X in each series identical. Okay, for that uh, first series, this in this series N minus one, I'm going to make it equal to n. How do we do this? I hope you know it because uh, we have already discussed it in uh, the power series method. Now the S1 is what? It is summation n from one to infinity, three times n plus r, and n plus r minus one x, sorry, cn x power n minus one. Now in this, I assume that 
n minus 1 is k. If now we are going to change the uh, summation in indices or in the summation, n start from 1. If n is 1, if n is 1, if we put n is equal to 1 here, what would be the value of k? k would be 0. And if n is infinity, if n is infinity, infinity minus 1 is infinity. So k, it, it is infinity again. And from here, we can also write what is the value of n? n is n is equal to k plus 1. Now, everything is set now. Now we are going to change this series into the new series. It becomes now summation. Uh, index has been changed now. It, it is now k from 0 to infinity, k from 0 to infinity. And uh, 3, instead of n, what we put here, n is k plus 1. So it becomes k plus r plus 1. And here we have k plus 1 minus 1 cancel. So it becomes k plus r. And c n, c n, n, instead of n, we put k plus 1 here, k plus 1, and x power n minus 1 becomes now x power k. Now, as I told you that the summation index is dummy, we can put here a p, m, whatever you want. So finally, we can write this series again into summation n from 0 to infinity. 3, we are just replacing k by n everywhere. So it becomes now n plus r plus 1, and then n plus r, and then c n plus 1 x power n. Now, this S1 series has become now this one. Now, you can see that the exponent, the power of x is n here, and the summation start from 0 to infinity. Similarly, we do the same for the S2, series 2, which was basically n from 1 to infinity, n plus r, and cn x power n minus 1. Now, again, we assume that uh, let n minus 1 is something m, m, or you can say it anything, any index. You can say it p, maybe. If n starts from 1 to infinity, if n is equal to 1, it gives us p is equal to 0. If n is equal to infinity, it gives us p is equal to infinity. And n is what? And mm -hmm. n is what? n is p plus 1. So now we can write the series uh, as summation p from 0 to infinity. And n is what? n is p plus 1 plus r. And uh, c p plus 1 and x power p. Now the index is dummy. So we can write here summation again n from 0 to infinity. Uh, n plus r plus 1 times c n plus 1 x power n. Now in the second series, the exponent has become now x power n as well. Now what we are going to do, we are going to insert s1 here and s2 here. Okay, now it gives us, let me put it from here. Now over uh, this equation, and the, the above equation, which we have written, it becomes now 3 r into r minus 1 plus r c naught x power minus 1 plus summation s1 series n start from 0 to infinity and it becomes 3 n plus r plus 1 into n plus r e n plus 1 x power n and then minus no plus summation n from 0 to infinity and n plus r c n x power n no n plus r plus 1 n plus r plus 1 
cn plus one x power n. And the third series is not plus minus n from zero to infinity cn x power n is equal to zero. We obtain this now. Now we can take common this summation in each series. We can take common x power n from each series. This was basically the purpose of doing all the change of index and substitutions and making uh, the exponent of x identical. Now, if we write uh, this 3r, r minus 1 plus r, uh, c naught x power minus 1 plus up submissive summation common n from 0 to infinity, whole common n. What comes inside 3n plus r plus 1, n plus r, n plus r, cn plus 1 plus xn bhi bhaer jayega. Now from here, we can write n plus r plus 1 and the cn plus 1 again and minus cn will close x power n equal to 0. This is what we obtain. Now, from these two factors, we can again take common n plus r plus 1, n plus r plus 1. So we can write this thing as uh, n plus r plus 1. Common lele, what do we get inside? We obtain 3n three, three plus 3r. Three so you get 3n plus 3r. Yahan pe kya aajega? plus one, okay. huh. this or here is cn plus one minus cn. So this is what we obtain here. Hmm. Okay. Now comparing the coefficients on both sides, comparing the coefficients on both sides, x power minus one, you have a right hand side piece coefficient. We can write here uh, zero into x power minus one plus zero into x power zero plus zero into x power one plus so on. So comparing the coefficients of like powers of x, what we obtain here, uh, you can say that comparing the coefficients of of like powers of facts or same powers of facts of you can say x minus one, x zero, x one, so on in general, x power n, so on. So x n ka coefficient, yahan bhi kya hai? This is all the coefficient of x n. And the right hand side, in the right hand side, all the coefficients are zero. So we obtain here uh let me where can i write it let me go over there on the other board yeah What we obtain, if you compare the coefficients, we obtain uh, 3r into r minus 1 plus r times c naught is equal to 0. And uh, from the second term, we obtain n plus r plus 1 times 3n plus 3r minus 1. Okay. Uh, plus one, sorry, not minus one. Plus one minus, yeah, sorry, cn plus one, cn plus one minus cn. Okay. This thing is equal to zero again. 
by comparing the coefficients on both sides. Now this equation, if we call it one and we call it two, equation one is called the initial equation. Equation one is called the initial equation. And what is this initial equation? Initial equation is the uh, equation uh, of the lowest power of x. Okay, is the coefficient of the lowest power of x in in this expression series expression? Let me show you again the 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 board previous board this one. Now the coefficient of lowest power of x. Lowest power of x kya hai? x power minus one in this whole series expression. The coefficient of lowest power of x is what? Is this thing. And this is called initial equation in the Frobenius series method. Okay. We can always obtain this kind of differential equation, this kind of algebraic equation uh, in, in the power series method. Remember that the initial equation is always the coefficient of lowest power of x. And the lowest power of x in all this expression is what x power minus one. It is not necessary that it is coefficient of, uh, it is always the coefficient of x power minus one. It could be x power minus two, it could be x power zero, it could be x power one. But that power should be uh, what? Lowest power in the whole expression of the series. Okay, I hope you get it. And this initial equation help us to find to find the value of uh, R. And what was R? It, X minus X naught power R factor was uh, basically additionally multiplied with the power series in order to uh, in, in the Frobenius series method. Now from this equation, from, from one, we say that C naught is not equal to zero because C naught is an arbitrary constant. If C naught becomes zero, then all the constants will become zero by using this X, this uh, recurrence relation. Because if we put n is equal to zero here, zero, and we get C1 here. And when we try to find C1 in terms of C0, and C0 is already zero, so all the constants will become zero and we get the trivial solution, which uh, we are not interested in. So we assume that C0 is not equal to zero. If C0 is not equal to zero, then we must have three R into R minus one plus R is equal to zero. And we can simplify it as three R square minus three R plus R is equal to zero. And uh, three R square minus two R is equal to zero. And R three R minus two is equal to zero. And from here, we can obtain R is equal to zero or R is equal to two by three. So we obtain two values for R. So these are the roots of the initial equation. Initial equation is what? It is a quadratic equation. Why it is quadratic equation? Because our uh, given differential equation is a second order differential equation. If the given equation is second order differential equation, then initial equation is usually uh, a second degree polynomial uh, and it must have two roots. There's a question in the chat window. Let me see it. Why C naught is not equal to zero. Let me uh, repeat it. You, go, you get it. What is, if we assume that C naught is not equal to zero, then this must be equal to zero. And simplifying, this is a quadratic equation and we must obtain two roots, R is equal to zero and R is equal to two by three. Now, why is this C naught not equal to zero? Because if we look at this second expression, which gives us the recurrence relation, 
Uh, what is this? Now look at this recurrence relation. Now from the second expression, uh, we obtain Cn plus one is equal to negative Cn divided by N plus R into N plus R plus one. Here, okay. no, three N plus three R. Ham isko udar lege aur ye divide kar diya. N plus R, N plus R, uh, n plus r plus one times three n plus three r plus one. This one. हमारे पास ये आ गया. अब आप देखें if ये आपके पास recurrence relation है. Recurrence relation में अगर c n को हम zero put करें, n को zero put करें, तो क्या आएगा यहाँ पे c one और c not. अब c not अगर zero है, तो c one भी zero हो जाएगा. अब अगर n को हम वन पुट करें तो c2 टू इज इक्वल टू सी आ गया c1 वन जीरो है तो c2 भी जीरो हो गया ऑल द कोफिशेंट बिकम जीरो इफ वी अस्यूम दैट c0 नॉट इज जीरो सो c0 नॉट मस्ट नॉट बी जीरो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द नॉन जीरो वैल्यूज ऑफ अदर कोफिशेंट अदरवाइज ऑल द कोफिशेंट बाई यूजिंग दिस रेक्रेंसलेशन दे विल बिकम जीरो एंड विल गेट द ट्रीवियल सोल्यूशन विच वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन आई होप यू गेट इट Yes, there is a, a another question. Roots of integer equation must always be real and positive. We'll discuss about the roots. Okay, wait for one minute. Now you can see that uh, from two we get this recurrence relation. This is the recurrence relation which help us to find the coefficient of that power series. Uh, are there any? other questions okay no now we have two values of r from which we obtain from that initial equation now for two values of r we must have two different recurrence relations okay for r is equal to 0 we get cn plus 1 we are now going to insert the value of r here okay When r is equal to zero, we get c n plus one is equal to negative c n divided by n plus one times three n plus one. And for r is equal to two by three, we get another recurrence relation c n plus one is equal to negative c n all divided by uh, r is equal to two by three. So what we get n plus two by three plus one times three n plus Uh, three times two by three plus one. So from here, what we obtain negative c n all divided by. यहाँ पे क्या आ जाएगा? Three plus one, uh, three into one, three five by three. Uh, अगर three common लें, तो आपके पास three n plus five आ जाएगा. हाँ. So it is three. Times three n plus five, or यहाँ पे क्या आ जाएगा? Three three cancel. Three n plus three three common ले लें. So sorry, ये divide पे होगा. One by three. हाँ, one by three होगा. और यहाँ से आपके पास three times n plus one. ये three और three cancel हो जाएगा. And what we obtain here, we obtain Minus c n divided by uh, n plus one times three n plus five. So this is your recurrence relation. Okay. So now let me write it again. C n plus one is equal to negative c n all divided by n plus one times three n plus five. So this is your second recurrence relation corresponding to r is equal to two by three. And this is your first recurrence relation corresponding to r is equal to this thing. R is equal to zero, and this is r is equal to two by three. 
So if you obtain two rational solution, then you can obtain two different series solutions. If you obtain, why did we take two by three? Faik Bilal. Because uh, R is equal to zero and R is equal to two by three, they are they were the roots of initial equation, the first equation. This one. Because from this equation, we obtained the values of R. R key value initial equation say after bus, two values are here, R is equal to zero and R is equal to two by three. So now in in from the second equation, this equation, we obtain the reference relations which involve R, which involve R. And so if R has two values, if R has two values, then we must have two recurrence relations. One is this and the other is this, corresponding to each value of R. Now, if we have two different uh, recurrence relations, for one, uh, in fact, which we assumed the power series in the start, which was uh, basically uh, this one, okay? CN has two different expressions. So we must have uh, two different power series for R is equal to zero and CN, the first expression, and R is equal to two by three. So we must have two different uh, series, which will give us... CN minus CN numerator. Yes, plus CN. Sorry. Because there is CN, right? Minus CN, right? Up here, negative CN, so this will go CN. Yes. So this is CN, not minus CN. Thank you. Sorry. So this is... Now, you have to find the coefficients here. For n is equal to 0. The first coefficient will come from C1 is equal to what? It is C0 divided by... And if you put 0 put here, then 1 into 1 will come. 1 into 1 means C1 is equal to C0 divided by 1 into 1. We have to make a pattern, so leave it in this way. n is equal to 1, then you have to C2 is equal to C1 divided by... If n is 1, then you have to say what will come here? 2, 2 into... n is 1, then 3 into plus 1, then 4 will come here. Okay. Now it, it, it becomes C1 is in fact what? It is C0 divided by 1 by 1. So it becomes C0 divided by 1 into 2 into 1 into 4. This and this. Okay. And similarly, you put n is equal to 2 here. n is equal to 2. What we obtain? <coughs> mm. Let me erase this thing only so that we can generalize that expression. For n is equal to 2, what do we obtain? C3 is equal to C2, all divided by, what was the expression? Uh, 2 is equal to 3, and here is 6, 7. Okay, so it becomes three into seven, and C two is what? C two is one two one four. So it becomes C naught one dot two dot three into one dot four dot seven. Okay, I, I'm trying to generalize it. So for and so on, so and so on. C n would be what? I'm I'm going to generalize it. So it is C naught. Yeah, I'm thinking C3 had one, two, three, and C3 had one, four, seven. So if we have uh, N here, it would be uh, N factorial because N factorial, we must have one, two, dot, three, dot, four, so on, dot, N, okay, into one, dot, four, dot, seven, and so on. Yeah, I'm basically, yeah. When n is uh, 0, we have 1. When n is 1, we have 4. So it should be 3n 
प्लस वन ठीक है एंड फर्दर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज सी नॉट ओल्ड डिवाइडेड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स वन डॉट फोर डॉट सेवन डॉट सो ऑन डॉट थ्री एन प्लस वन दिस so this will be your cn you have to generalize it yourself uh, there is a question in the chat window let me see the question sir in sub terms ke sath minus sign hoga nahi sign nahi hoga negative wo upar jo hai wo humne negative galat lagaya hua tha that was positive in fact so uh, this is our in general cn and this uh, uh, these coefficients are corresponding to r is equal to 0 in fact r is equal to 0 similarly you can find uh, the general expression for r is equal to 2 by 3 that would be of uh, similar kind so if you obtain c and this for corresponding to r is equal to 0 then our power series our power series will be of the form what Uh, let me write it somewhere 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 maybe not here okay and the power series is what y of x the solution series x power r summation n from 0 to infinity cn x power n theek hai ab x power kya hai x power r 0 and summation uh pehla coefficient jo hai iska aap separate kar le c not ka uh theek hai baki aap rehne de beshak isko likh de ye c not x power 0 plus summation n from 1 to infinity cn x power n theek hai बिकॉज सी नॉट हमने अस्यूम किया हुआ है कि ये नॉन जीरो है आप इसको एक्सपेंड या आप सारे को भी एक्सपेंड कर सकते हैं देन वट डू वी राइट हेयर बिकॉज एन वेरीज फ्रॉम वन टू इंफिनिटी यहाँ पे एन को जीरो लेंगे तो सी नॉट जो है वो सी नॉट जीरो नहीं है तो सी वन किसके इक्वल है सी नॉट के इक्वल है तो फिर आपके पास क्या आ जाएगा यहां पे एक्स पावर जीरो अगेन सेम एक्स पावर जीरो इज दिस सी नॉट प्लस यहां पे समेशन एन फ्रॉम वन टू इंफिनिटी एंड सी एन की वैल्यू क्या होगी सी एन की वैल्यू हमने अभी फाइंड की है विच इज बेसिकली दिस वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सी नॉट इट इज C not divided by n factorial one dot four dot seven dot so on three n plus one. This times x power n. This one. ठीक है. अब यहाँ से C not को भी अगर आप common ले लें, तो आपके पास क्या आ जाएगा? C not times one plus summation n from one to infinity uh, x power n whole divided by n factorial 1.4.7.1.3n plus 1 this so <clears throat> so this is your first solution this is your first solution by one of x okay this is your by one of x and c not not equal to 0 you can basically eliminate it it doesn't matter so this is your first solution now what you do corresponding to r is equal to 2 by 3 again you find the coefficients uh, using this reference relation you can find the coefficients and you can generalize them you can obtain the second series solution is there a question in the chat window no similarly you can find the other solution using this uh, second reference relation g beta Uh, 
जितनी भी हमारी सोल्यूशन होंगी रेगुलर सिंगुलर पॉइंट के लिए वो सब इसी फॉर्म की होंगी डेफिनेटली अबाउट दर्डिनरी पॉइंट जीरो सॉरी अबाउट सिंगुलर पॉइंट एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो ठीक है यहाँ पे तो x नॉट जीरो है ना इसलिए x पावर r कर दिया हमने इन जनरल ये क्या है इन जनरल इज बेसिकली इट इज x माइनस एक्स नॉट होल्ड इज पावर आर समेशन एन फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी सी नॉट x माइनस एक्स नॉट होल्ड इज पावर एन ठीक है बिकॉज x नॉट इज जीरो हेयर सो पुट वी पुट इट जीरो हेयर x पावर r एन x पावर n यहाँ पे आ गई ठीक है इन जनरल प्रोबीनियस सीरीज की जो फॉर्म है वो यही सीरीज होती है ठीक है we insert the derivatives of the series into the given differential equation we try to simplify it we try to find the initial equation we find the values of r and then uh, now there are several cases from the initial equation you know that the roots could be what the roots could be real and distinct roots could be repeated may be equal from this initial equation what we had obtained we obtain a quadratic equation theek hai yahan se aapke paas quadratic equation aa gayi hai let me discuss about the roots now roots of that initial equation so corresponding to two roots you obtain you must obtain two uh, linearly independent power series linearly independent power series Uh, जब होंगी तो आपके पास जनरल सॉल्यूशन होगा यू कैन राइट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कांस्टेंट प्लस फर्स्ट सॉल्यूशन प्लस कांस्टेंट सेकंड सॉल्यूशन ठीक है दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द रूट्स ऑफ दिस इंडिशियल इक्वेशन सो इट इज बेसिकली थ्री आर स्केयर माइनस थ्री आर प्लस आर सो इट इट इज टू आर इट इज बेसिकली अकॉर्डेटिक इक्वेशन विच गिवस आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड आर इज इक्वल टू टू बाय थ्री now you know that this quadratic equation can have real roots as well as complex roots we are not considering here complex roots we only consider uh, real roots but in real roots as well we have three cases case 1 when roots are real and distinct when the roots are real and distinct plus plus they do not differ by an integer you can say that the difference the difference is not a positive integer okay in this previous case yahan pe Again, they are distinct, real and distinct, and their difference is not a positive integer. Okay, you can see that. Now, here the difference they claim two by three minus zero is not uh, a positive integer. Okay, in that case, we obtain two distinct, or you can say linearly independent. linearly independent uh series solution y1 and y2 theek hai and the general solution you can write it as uh, c constant maybe uh, c y1 of x plus d y2 of x where these two series y1 and y2 are two distinct or linearly independent power series if this is the case roots are real and distinct plus their difference is not a positive integer which was the case in first example which we have uh, done earlier this one theek okay. hai this was the case one now the case two is when the roots are real and distinct case 2 is roots are real and distinct 
but their difference up uh, case two or three basically they are almost identical but there is only minor difference roots are real and distinct but their difference is is a positive integer in this case we cannot obtain two linearly independent power series or two linearly independent solutions in that case uh, in this case particularly in this case the roots are uh, the second series is basically a constant multiple of uh, or you can say the uh, it depends on the, the the first series solution as well in that case uh, we we are unable to find the second solution okay in that case we are unable to find the second solution of the given differential equation but if the given differential equation is of second order then we must have uh, two linearly independent solution in order to write the general solution i hope you know it what we do in that case in this case the second series that is a theorem and uh, in that case we can find the second series uh, in this form constant times y1 of x times ln of x plus summation n from 0 to infinity b n x power n plus r r2 r2 where b not is not equal to 0 where n c the c is a constant the second solution series solution will be of this form and how could, can we find it we assume uh, where y1 is what it is the first series solution y1 is what it is the first series solution which we have already obtained okay now how to obtain the second series solution there are two methods of finding second either you put this series into the given differential equation and do the similar proce process similar procedure in order to find these unknown coefficients b n theek hai jaise ki hum first series ko ek derivative lete hain do derivative lenge hum un do derivatives ko ab kya karte hain given differential equation mein put karte hain fir sari series ka sum ki terms o oh, x ke jo exponents hain wo same karte hain summation bahar lete hain x power n bahar lete hain aapke paas recurrence relations aate hain and then you find the recurrence relation and then uh, you get the series similarly you can put this series by two of x this whole series now take the derivative first derivative of the series second derivative of the series you put all the values of this series into the given differential equation and simplify uh, then you can find the recurrence relations in order to get the values of these b's which are unknown constants and it is basically a very lengthy process you can see the series uh, involves in fact two series y1 of x is a series and vn of x is a series but you 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 don't have to put here the series because y1 is a solution it is uh, obviously it will obviously satisfy the given differential equation so when this is a solution you when you put this uh, this part of the series into the given differential equation this term will be eliminated because y1 is is a solution that can uh, you can simplify the calculations by assuming that y1 is a solution okay uh, i hope you can do it let me uh, we'll discuss it later on in detail let me show you the third case in the case 3 sorry in case 3 when the roots are real and equal
in case three, roots are real and equal. Means R1 is equal to R2. In that case also, we are unable to find the second solution of that differential equation. Okay. What we do in that case, the solution would be of this form. It is almost similar as in the case to accept the constant in the first term, y1 of x, natural log of x plus summation n from one to infinity, uh, b n x power n plus r one here. Previously, in the previous case, you have r two here and a constant here, but in case three, there is no constant here, and here you have r one because r one is equal to r two. So this is uh, this would be the second solution of the given differential equation, assuming y one is the first solution. First CV solution of the given differential equation. How to find the second solution? Uh, you take the two derivative, first derivative, y2 dash of x is equal to what? You have to take the derivative here. You have a product rule here, obviously. So it becomes y1 dash of x, natural log of x plus one over x, y1 of x plus here summation, not one, it is one or zero. It is from one, I think. Uh, check here whether uh, we have zero here or one, I'm not sure. Here one here, so n from one to infinity, uh, n plus r one times b n x power n plus r one minus one. You take the second derivative as well, y two double dash of x. I hope you can do it. You take the, you have y two, y two dash, y two will do double dash. You put all these expression into given differential equation and rearrange the terms um, and uh, try to find the recurrence relations in terms of bn in, in a similar manner we uh, did in the previous example. And you uh, try to find the recurrence relations in order to find the coefficients bn. And then you can uh, obviously, after finding uh, the coefficients b n, you put them here, uh, here in this series, along with the y one series. This will be the solution, second solution of the differential equation. If you obtain the two linearly independent solutions of the given differential equation, then you can write the general solution uh, as y of fax is equal to some constant times y one of fax first solution some other constant times by two of x, which is the second solution. So this will be your general solution. Okay, having two unknown parameters, which can eventually obtained by using the initial conditions given in the differential equation. So it's a bit lengthy, uh, uh, but these are the methods we have to, we have to know it. Um, sir, uh, sir uh, I check and it's n is equal to zero se leke infinity tak for real and equal. Also, oh. um, sir, it is from n is equal to zero. This is from n is equal to zero. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Sir, also, I have a website pe likha hai ke, uh, they're both um, when they're separated by an integer and when they're um, real and equal. So, mm -hmm. their solution y2 ek tarike se found uh, find hoti hai. Lekin ek mein humne constant consider kiya aur ek mein humne nahi kiya. Uh, why is that the case? In fact, this involves uh, basically a theorem and a very lengthy and complex derivation, which I'm avoiding here by looking at the content of this course, maybe scope of this course, uh, you, you should read those things in the upper level course, I think, Ordinary Differential Equation, which is Math 341 course. Math 341, I don't remember exactly the code of that course, but uh, these things, the proof of these things or the derivations of these things 
is beyond the scope of this course okay but if you are interested uh, i'll provide you the derivation or uh, the theory involved in deriving all these things you you can have a look at that okay thank you sir. fatma theek hai because that involves a lot of time and um, we don't have much time to discuss those things but uh, it is not necessary that you you use these methods there is another method you can use in order to find the second solution that is i think more simple than this uh, solution this type of solution you can use the method of uh, reduction of uh, order formula as was hai na humne we have already discussed the method of reduction reduction formula which is in that case uh, the formula is y2 of x y1 of x whole integral e raised to r negative integral p of x dx whole divided by y1 of x uh, whole square dx theek okay. hai now inserting the first series here and here you have the value of p of x this is your very simple expression here you have y1 square that is a series you can take it uh, in the numerator and then you can use the binomial theorem or binomial series kind of thing in order to simplify this thing and then uh, integrating this expression uh, you can obtain uh, and after multiplying that expression with y1 you can obtain the y2 series you can use this method of reduction uh, of order per, uh, formula in order to find the second series if you are unable to find uh, the second solution in the case 2 and case 3 either you use uh, the case 2 and case 3 the series expressions given in those case 2 and case 3 or you can use this formula which is the method of reduction of order formula in order to find the second solution if the first solution is known humne ye pehle discuss kiya hua hai this formula can be used in order to find the second solution of the differential equation if the first solution is known so we can use this formula directly without discussing any other cases either the roots are equal or not equal and they differ by a, a positive integer in both that cases we can use this formula in order to find the second solution directly theek hai ye notes mein maine kaha hua hai ke this kind of example is given on the page 328 Uh, in the book of Dennis G. Zill, this is in fact the example five. You can use that method to find the second solution as well. Okay, I'll uh, upload these notes today, and I'll include some of the exercises. Also, for this method, you can try these uh, examples and exercises given in my notes as well as in the book. I hope you understand it. If you have any question you can ask me right now or in the next lecture if you want otherwise i'm going to stop today till here and we'll discuss next things in the next lecture any question if there is no question then okay take care allah hafiz